Greetings everybody, welcome to another Sunday School lesson. This lesson is for June the 2nd, 2024. The title of the lesson is Glorious Riches. It's coming from Colossians chapter 1, verse 24 through Colossians 2, verse 3. Okay. Buenas, buenas tardes queridos hermanos, en esta tarde de consumir, venimos a enseñarte en la escuela dominical el 2 de junio del 2024, riquezas gloriosas polonenses del capítulo 1, 24 al 2, 3. Amen. Amen, amen. Okay, es Lingo Escuela, junio 2, 20, 24. Maluay Hatin Kayamaga, Colossal 1, 24, 2, 3, and 3. Amen. Amen. 1, 24. Who now rejoice in my sufferings for you and fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of Christ in my flesh or his body's sake, which is the church. Amen. Amen. Verse 25, Colossians 1 and 25, King James Version. Wherefore I am made a minister according to the disposition of God, which is given to me to fulfill the word of God. Amen. And it reads, Whereof I am made a minister according to the dispensation of God, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God. Amen. Verse 127. To whom God will have made, what is the riches of the glory of this ministry? Amen. 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 To whom God will make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is in Christ in you, the hope of glory. Amen. Uh, verse 28. Yes, sir. Whom we Amen. preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. Amen. 29, whereunto I also labor, striving according to his working, which worketh in me mightily. The word Amen. being reading from Colossians 2, 1, for I would that ye knew what great conflict I have for you, and for them at Laodicea, and for as many as have not seen my face in the flesh. Colossians 2, King James Version. That their hearts might be comforted, being knit together in love, and unto all riches of full assurance and understanding, to the acknowledgement of the mystery of God, and of the Father and of Christ, in whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. From the New King James Amen. Version, Colossians, second chapter, verse two through three. That their heart may be encouraged by knitting together in love and attaining to all riches the full assurance of understanding to the knowledge of mystery of God, both of the Father and of Christ, in whom are hidden all treasure of wisdom and knowledge. Amen. May the Lord have a blessing on the reading, the hearing, and the doing of his word. Okay. Out of the Amplified Bible, uh, Colossians chapter 2, verses 2 and 3. For my hope is that their hearts may be encouraged as they are knit together in unselfish love, so that they may have all the riches that come from the full assurance of understanding the joy of salvation, resulting in a true and more intimate knowledge of the mystery of God, that is Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge regarding the word and purposes of God. Capítulo 2, versículo 2 y 3. Para que sean consolados sus corazones, unidos en amor, hasta alcanzar todas las riquezas de pleno entendimiento, a fin de conocer el misterio de Dios Padre y de Cristo. En quien estamos escondidos todos los tesoros de la sabiduría y conocimiento. 
Amen. Magandang balita Biblia. Ginagawa ka itong palakasin ang kanilang loob at upang magpupulod sila ng patiwi. Sa gayon, mararanasan nila ang ganap na pagpapala ng tunay na pagkaunawa at kalaman tungkol sa huwaga ng Diyos na walang iba kong disiplisto. Sa kaunigitan niya na hayag ang lahat ng patagong kayamanan ng karunungan at kalaman ng Diyos. Amen. 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 Kutimoyo yao inyaradzwe, vanusani tswa murudo, nemufuma yose ya kalimbis kwa kanak, kwa kakwana, kwe kundwisisa, paruziwo, wecha kawanzika chamari, necha baba, necha kristu. Maari fuma yose ya uchenjeri neruziwo ya kalikwa. Amen. Okay, let's start. Okay. Nyangka uchenu. Colosse hai ngõ hậu hầu họ được kích lệ trong lòng và hợp nhất trong tình yêu thương được tất cả sự phong phú của tri thức chắc chắn mà hiểu thấu huyền nghiệm của đức chúa trời tức là chúa cứu thế ba trong ngày ẩn chứa mọi kho tàng của sự khôn ngoan về tri thức Greetings. Today's Sunday School lesson is for June the 2nd. It's entitled Glorious Riches, coming from Colossians chapter 1, verse 24, through Colossians chapter 2, verse 3. Escuela Dominical, 2 de Junio, de 2024. Requises glorias, Colossenses 3, Colossenses 1, verso 24 al 2, verso 3. Amen. So, uh, without further ado, thanks for all the readers of the word. Uh, this time we have all the men reading for the month of June. So, thanks for all the men volunteers to show some boldness for the Lord. Uh, we'll have our opening prayer, mm -hmm. and we'll continue with our lesson. Opening prayer, Father, cleanse our hearts and minds to willingly receive your words, then hide your saving words in our hearts that we sin not against you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Opening prayer. Dear honors and his honor, Padre Olympia, nuestros corazones y mentes para recibir voluntariamente tu palabras. Entonces esconde tu palabra sabedores en nuestros corazones para que no pequemos contra ti. En el nombre de Jesús oramos. Amén. Magdasal tayo, Ama, linisin mo ang aming mga puso at isipan upang kausang loob na tanggapin ang iyong mga salita. Pagkatapos ay itago ang iyong mga salita na magliligtas sa aming mga puso na hindi kami magkakasala laban sa iyo. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, kami ay nananalangin. Amen. 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 Thank you for our prayers. Okay, the devotion is coming from Galatians chapter 3, verses 19 through 29. Galatians is divided in the study Bible into three sections. One is faith or by works of the law. So it's a question, by faith or by works of the law? And that's where the devotion is actually coming from, those first nine verses. Uh, the other two sections is the righteous shall live by faith, which is our answer, right? Verses 10 through 14. And the last one is the law and the promises. Show how they correlate uh, for the last part of that chapter, 15 through 29. Uh, I just want to uh, say, why the law? Uh, because the law showed the transgressions till the seed should come to whom the promise was made. The law against the promises of God, God forbid, for, forbid. For there had been a law given which could have given life. Verily righteousness should have been by the law. And that's the whole catch. The righteousness is not by the law, it's by faith. So the scripture concluded under sin that the promise by faith of Jesus Christ may be given to them that believe. So we must be a believer that he is. And God is a spirit, right? Uh, wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us into Christ, 
So the schoolmaster is a caretaker to escort us to, uh, to the school for our safety, for, to, to learn any, uh, I guess, traditions or cultures. Make sure you do everything right. That's the schoolmaster. And that's how the law was. So the law was a schoolmaster to lead us to Christ. Now Christ is the teacher. Hallelujah. So thank you, Lord, for Christ. So if you be Christ, then you be Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Moving on to uh, First Colossians. The study Bible breaks down into four sections. First is just a greeting uh, by Paul. And uh, the second is the thanksgiving and prayer. The third is the preeminence of Christ. And uh, the fourth part is Paul's ministry to the church, which is 24 to 29, which is the end. So our lesson begins at 24, which is that part of Paul's ministry to the church. Verse 24 says, Now, who now rejoice in my sufferings for you and fill up that which is behind of the afflictions for Christ in my flesh for his body's sakes, which is, the, which is the church? So Christ's body is the church. That's why we want to fellowship. We want to make sure we have time to fellowship in the body of Christ because he... He's coming back for a church without spot, wrinkle, and bit. We want to be part of that number. Hallelujah. When the saints go marching in. All right, 25. Where am I made a minister according to the dispensation of God, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of law, word of God. So that's where that Old Testament come in. And Christ is a fulfillment of the law. Hallelujah. And dispensation in a regular dictionary is exemption from a rule or usual requirement. So yeah, maybe Christ is a dispensation of the penalties of that law. But then the, the Bible Dictionary, Easton, it says the method which God carries out his purposes toward men. And uh, there's seven dispensations of the Bible. Dispensation of innocence, of conscience, human government, promise, law, grace, and the millennial reign of Christ. So I don't want to diverge too much. I digress too much. So the, uh, the word dispensation in four uh, we have according to the dispensation of God, which is given to me to, for you to fulfill the word of God. So Paul is coming to explain. So with the Corinthians, uh, remember, Paul wrote the letter to the Corinthians because uh, they were deviating. And we always have bad influences around us, regardless of what we're doing, where are we, whether we're playing or working, it, it's some bad influence, it seems like. Even if we just sit down watching television, you minding your own business, all of a sudden, you know, if you're a man, you're sitting there, and uh, he come on one with her underwear on. I'm just saying, it distracts you from what you were looking at, even if it was a, a, a Christian festival, I'm saying. I'm just saying. So uh, the Satan is busy, too. So he's trying to make sure, hey, well, I, I want to pull some of them in with me. I know hell was made for Satan and his angels, but, you know, he may want to pull up. He's walking to and fro, too. But hold on. <laughs> we resist the devil. Submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. Just remember those uh, things right there. So, uh, continue to go, to whom God will make known what is the riches of his glory in this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory, Christ in you. So the mystery hid from ages and from generations is now made manifest to the saints, and that's what, Christ in you, so 26 and 27 then. And then what? Just like in Romans, the word of faith that we preach, uh, here, uh, verse 28 of uh, Colossians, 1 Colossians, whom we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So we're not perfect as we ourselves because we were what? Born in shame and iniquity. What? Psalm 51. But at the same time, and what all have fallen, come short of the glory of God. Romans uh, 3 and what? The wages of sin is death and wow, the law condemns us. So through Christ, we have the faith, and through Christ there's life, and life everlasting. Uh, the last verse is, Whereunto I also labor, striving, according to his working, which worketh mightily uh, in me mightily, which worketh in me mightily. So, mightily. So, whenever the Spirit of God moves you, when you have that relationship with the Lord, just by reading his word, and attending a church service, a Bible study, uh, sometimes it just strike you wherever you may be. On that sick bed, a lot of times, if you're praying for yourself, you know, some things come to you, oh yeah, but Lord, if you get me out of this, I'll do this. And you start making these promises. Make sure you fulfill what you say you're going to do. And I'm going to just tell you this. A lot of things that we uh, say we're going to do for the Lord, it seem real big. And, and hey, you know, 
it, it, it's a, it may be a big part, but at the same time, the Lord will make it easy. His yoke is easy. His burden is light. Because it's like, wow, when you go to start doing it, look like things start flowing your way. Well, look, I don't know if I can even afford to do this. I, I, I know I need this equipment. Next thing you know, somebody getting rid of the same equipment that you need. Man, I want to return this to the store because I don't need it. Uh, you know, hey, this is a good one. Oh, we got one that's out the box. You know, I'm just saying. Uh, there's a way where, hey, you may not be able to reach it in the natural, but, hey, the Spirit allow it to come down so that you can get it. So little becomes much when you put it in the master's hands. And that goes with whether it's uh, finances or whether it's your labor. And what our, our labor is not in vain in the Lord. So we're going to move on to chapter 2. Chapter 2 is broken down. Uh, the first five verses are untitled. The second uh, section is 6 through 15. That's alive in Christ. In the last section of uh, Colossians 2 is let no one disqualify you. That's 16 to 23, which is the end. Our focus is in that untitled section, which continues to Paul's ministry to the church. So chapter 2, verse 1 says, For I would that ye knew what great conflict I have for you and for them at Laodicea, and for as many as not seen my flesh, my face in the flesh. So Paul also had the sister cities of, uh, besides Colossus, uh, Laodicea, uh, which is Asia Minor, today's Turkey, uh, and, and, and to each and every one of us. Hey, uh, you know, when it's anything in this Bible, what, it pertains to everybody when it's all said and done. Because hey, we can see where we might have fallen short, or where we need to correct ourselves and put ourselves in check and, we, and walk, what, more in a godly fashion. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, help us, Lord. We can do nothing without you, but through you we can do all things. So Paul's confinement was keeping him from being there in person in the flesh. And he wanted to know how greatly he was striving for them. So not for any self-glory, because all glory goes to God when it's all said and done. But hey, he, to the love uh, behind the sacrifices that he and others were making on their behalf to experience the glorious riches of life in Christ. So glorious riches of Christ, uh, life in Christ. So it's through him we can, we have just a lot of benefits that we just take for granted. And it's like, ooh, it seems like things just going smooth and easy. Peace comes from love. He told that uh, the rough waters, peace, be still. Well, the, the apostles, they were ready to help. What are we going to do? We're we going to sink. And all Christ did, hey, they, went, they woke him up. They said, peace, be still. And the waters were calm. What matter of man is this? Hallelujah. The son of God. That's what matter of man that is. He's different. <laughs> so uh, verse 2 and 3 are key verses of this lesson. So uh, that says that their hearts might be comforted, being knit together in love, and unto all riches of the full assurance of understanding to the acknowledgement of the mystery of God and of the Father and of Christ, in whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. So Paul want to encourage every, everybody who, who never met God. Uh, well, of course, he wrote to the Corinthians and the Theodicians and all the neighboring cities at the time who never met him face to face, but he, he he's actually encouraging each and every one of us. So, like I said, we have these bad influences, but we got to keep on keeping on. We got to press our way, press to the mark of the high calling, right? And like, hey, we might not be where we need to be, but we're not where we used to be. We got to encourage ourselves in the progress that we do make in Jesus' name. So all should be aware of the larger community of witnesses supporting them, uh, supporting the faith, and that we should all be united in love. So there was a, uh, where, where people meet and, and talk about the Lord uh, retreat. And at the end of this particular retreat, all the people that were working for the people that were in the retreat came out to share in the retreat and come to find out that the people that were in the tree, retreat, whatever number that was, it was three times the number that supported them. See, like to make the beds, to make, to prepare the food, and to do the maintenance or whatever. So, you know, hey, we all in this together and we all here to give God glory. That's the whole duty of man, what? To serve the Lord when it's all said done. The first commandment, at the heart of this mystery is Christ himself. So there's no other way to the Father except through Jesus Christ. So know that we must treasure God's wisdom and the knowledge of hope in the Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, amen on that. 
Now, there's just two other little scriptures. This is just background, and I'm going to just uh, read them. At, at this I say, lest any man should beguile you with enticing words, so they go to have bad influence. Five says, for though I be absent in the flesh, yet I am with you in spirit, joying and beholding your honor and the steadfastness of your faith in Christ. So remember, keep the faith in Jesus' name. Amen. We'll have our final prayer. Heavenly Father, remind us constantly of your presence and available prayer. May we never exchange your son and his wisdom and counterfeits. Let us become experts in Christ to be able to stay alert to, to those pretenders. We pray in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. 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 So thank you for our prayers. Thank you for all the participants one more time. Uh, our lesson comes from the Standard Lesson Commentary 2023-2024. And uh, there's other uh, Sunday school books that, that have these lessons in them online, of course. Uh, this lesson is Glorious Riches, which came from Colossians 1 and 2. Our next lesson is called Bold Ministers, coming from 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 5 through 18. Uh, bold Ministers Reflecting God's Spirit. So the devotional there is Deuteronomy chapter 31, 1 through 8. And the background scripture is the same as the lesson, 2 Corinthians 3, 5 through 18. Uh, the key verse for that lesson is 2 Corinthians 3, 18, the last verse of, of the lesson. So uh, the commentary acts. Uh, excerpts for those who got the paper lesson through the email is from uh, South Georgia Advocate and Best Grove Missionary Baptist Church. Thank you to our pastor Eddie Cross III of Good Hope here in Gretna, Louisiana for the use of our, the church and uh, each and everyone who volunteered participating by watching uh, and by participating by reading the scripture, by reading the prayers and the translations. So thank you all for that because it takes a little boldness, a little holy boldness to do things for the Lord. But, but our labor is not in vain in the Lord. And what we want to do, keep the faith. And yeah, there's these enticing uh, influences that try to drive you the other way. But what? Submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. Now, last lessons in May, when all the ladies were reading, have dealt with faith, 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 from January through May. So now we switch into a whole new unit, and it's hope. Faith, hope, and love. But remember, we do all things in love. Because without love, when you do things, it's like tinkling brass, right? So uh, let us love one each other, you know, each other as we walk our daily walk our life in the hope and calling of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, okay. God help me, God. Gee, and die my heart, Lord. God, God loves me, God. He and my God, God, and love me. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 <laughs>